Hello guys and welcome back to this quick tutorial. I have made a cloth procedural texture in Blender and I really just want to show you what it's able to do. So we have this thread system which is weaving along the x and y axis at the same time and you have all these values which you are able to control the thread system with. If you turn the grain blend up you have this grainy texture and if you turn it down you have a more grainy texture. So it's controlling how dirty it is. The scale is determining how big your dirt is. Then we have the displacement. Keep in mind, this displacement is working in reverse. So if you turn, the, turn it up, you'll get uh, this displaced texture. And if you turn it down, you will have a more displayed texture. Then we have the fret scale. The fret scale is determining how many frets we have on our fabric. And right now we have 1500 frets. If we turn it up to 3000, we have twice as many frets. It makes sense. We have the grid scale next up and it's determining how many times our grid is changing. So if I turn the grid up, you can see that our grid is getting smaller. And if I turn it down, our grid is getting larger. The grid noise is actually controlling the frets, but it's making the grid more organic. So you should go easier on this value if you want to make your fabric look nice. I tend to have it around 1.1 because it makes a little bit of variation but it's not making it too obvious. Then we have the roughness value. It's controlling how rough is the surface of your texture. So if your roughness is set to 0 0.7, it's like having 0 0.7 in the principal BSDF texture. So if I set it to 0, you'll have a shiny texture. If I set it to 1, you'll have a completely rough texture. Let's take a look at the texture. I've built it up so if you download it for yourself, you are able to figure out what everything is doing. But we have a separate XYZ C node which is separating the vector. So we get this continuous pattern with the ping pong node. The color ramp is controlling the fall off and the RGB curves is controlling the top curve. Then we have our grid. Our grid is a Voronoi texture. So if you take a look at it, it's really just a Voronoi texture without a randomness. I have uh, flipped the colors and make them sharper so you get a checkered grid. Uh, I'm not using the checkered texture because the Voronoi texture gives me a fall off to the edge. Then we have the uh, grain roughness and bump. I've controlled it with a uh, color ramp node, driving it into a bump map and a map range node, and then into the roughness map. Our color is a mix of our noise texture here and just a color and some grain blend. I use the uh, noise as a factor and then I use uh, the subsurface value is really just controlling the subsurface and then I've plugged the color into the subsurface colors and that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to use it for yourself in your own projects, I've left the link down below where you can download my project file. Leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.